little bit about your history with animal rescue. Hi. Uh, I started to help animals since I was a little girl. Um, well, my parents don't let me keep dogs in the house and all that, and while unless they are healthy and find a place. But my my big dream is like um, was like a uh, have a place to um, save animals. I guess it's everybody dream. Every kid me like uh, I want when I want to grow up, I have I want a big place to help animals. So that was my dream. But I was more determined and I start to save money. Like I was selling big hamburgers in school. I was selling candies. I was selling or no chocolates in school. So I was saving money, money, money. When I was like uh, 26 years, I saved 30,000 dollars. And then a friend of me came to me and he said that he was selling the farm because he wanted to travel. Uh, he sold me the farm, uh, but it's 60,000 dollars. So like I only had 30,000. I was in the van and I borrowed the, the other half 30,000. So I buy the farm in that moment and I started to save animals. Uh, I, I have dogs, cats, birds. I say one pig, uh, the bull, the cow, one horse, uh, rabbit, rats. So you have 34 animals now, 34 right? 34 in total, different kind. Of okay. Tell us a little bit about the legal problems you've had with the farm. Well, like I said before, I buy the farm to an uh, old friend. Uh, after two months, when everything was legal, he committed suicide. So the family of the blue come and say that my business, my contract is not legal because he, he had mental problems and I have to return the farm. But that means that I lost all the money because the guy that, who I give the money died and he spent the money so nobody is going to return my money. So that process is starting in 2010. Uh, four days ago I received a call from my lawyer. I paid the lawyer's thanks for the thanks to a wealthy war. After, well, so I received a call and the lawyer said that I lost the case and I have to return in three days the farm to the family. So, of course, I turned crazy. Um, then my lawyer is trying to make time, like, uh, but the only time that can make maybe 20 days and I have to return the farm. So I have no option. So, the biggest issue here, of course, is the cows. Tell us about that. Yes, the problem is the cows and the bull and the horse. There are giant animals, like a really big, and they need to eat grass. So they need at least 2,000 square meters to to eat and to stay because they are really big. My plan is try to find a temporal farm, rent the place, and in some moments save money. I don't know, start again and buy a farm. It's better buy a farm. Now I believe that you actually did identify a property that that seems to be ideal. Tell us about that. Yes, I was like a two days ago after I received the bad news. I was looking for a farm and I find one. It's a cheaper price. It's like a one thousand five hundred a month. Very cheap in Colombia. So fifteen hundred dollars a month rent. That's complete with the, with the house that is and the, the land. land. With the house and all that. Then I need money to move the animal from the other uh, town, from this new town. That means that I have to make like a legal document for the cows because in Colombia, of course, a cow is not an animal, it's food. So I have to do legal things. I have to pay the transportation for the big animals that is very expensive. I have to build new fences in the new farm, new house for the dogs, new fences for the dogs, new house for the cats, everything new. I have to start again. Heard the legal, when you heard the legal decision, how did that make you feel? Well, totally lost because because I am the only option for these animals. It's like if somebody said to you, uh, it's going to kill your sons or something like that. It's what I feel. So I lost everything because if I don't find a place for the animals, they're going to die, just like that. And a start again. It's just a start again. Lost, I lost all my money that I saved my whole life and I have to start again. So I had fear, of course. I was crying like a two days without stop. But, but honestly, I, can, I cannot do it alone. That is the truth. I don't know why I have to sell my arms or something. If I can do it, I... But I can't for that. The whole campaign changed because the campaign was to survive one year. Now the campaign is to save the animals. Literally, I have to save the animals. So... I need like... Um, well, I need like $3,000 to move, pull everything all the legal part, all that, to start again. Then I have to work normal to feed the animals. 
So I am like a mother, these are my babies. So my only option is be as strong and try to find a solution. But I cannot do it alone, so for that I ask for to everybody help. And you can imagine how happy I feel when I see that somebody donate one dollar, five dollar. It's like a totally relief. It's like a, there is people there that want to help. But so far, I in these last days, I I experienced how wonderful it is feel that that is someone there that want to help. That I, my animals are not alone. That I am not alone. I know that that people cannot come here, but each dollar. I see, for example, I post in group in Facebook my campaign that have like a twenty nine thousand followers. And I guess what well, if everybody donate one dollar? What is one dollar? I give like a three thousand dollars a month, and I am alone. One dollar is people. It's done in one day. The problem is, so that is my only hope. I don't, I, I don't have more options. That is my only hope. Just one dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. I am sure everybody has one dollar in their pocket. I'm sure. And my animals don't have pockets. So if you have one dollar, please donate to me. You can do it in my, camp uh, my campaign in Indiegogo, you can do it on Paypal. And remember, Food for Life Global, that is an American organization, charity organization, is helping with that so you can donate the money there. So I want to ask to everybody that please help me to continue this dream. This dream is, this is just the start. I started just seven years ago. I want to do more things. This is just the start. And and I have hopes, so you are my only hope. I want to ask to everybody that please help me to donate, uh, to share with other people. If you know famous contact, I want to go there too. I want to meet people. And I want that everybody help my animals. Now on, and for the rest of my, my dream that I think is eternal. So just...